Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any pictures or videos of what's going on in the garden. Um, recently, this summer, we added on a backyard pergola um, and patio area. So I wanted to kind of quickly show you what everything looks like, the finished project, and our um, new gardening areas. And hopefully this season I'll be able to share some more videos um, and pictures of what I'm planting, what I'm doing, how I'm tackling things in the garden. So that is kind of my goal this year to kind of keep you guys informed and hopefully inspire you and your family to start your own garden. Um, just following along with what I'm doing and I'll definitely share with you how easy that is in some future videos. So today I just wanted to show you what we've done. So we've added another 20 by 20 garden to the left. Um, we started it off with a smaller garden back up here against our, our wall and then added another 20 by 20 over there and another, this is our new side of our garden is another 20 by 20. And we've wrapped those all with blueberry bushes and Italian cypresses on the corners. And we've added a little walkway from our breezeway here and added a arbor, which is made from some old railings that Kane has pulled out of a job and kind of just kept there for a future project and finally we were like hey these would work awesome for an arbor and he finished it with rebar already our flowering trees are crawling up there we're training it to kind of grow up there um, so this is gonna be beautiful here when it starts to shoot off some purple flowers will be hanging down and here is our smaller garden I've kind of designed it a little different this year I'm excited to show you guys how this is gonna work out um, our little teepee trellis there and uh, we've got a couple beds and some potted plants and here is our amazing pergola and eating area that Kane and his crew has built. We've got our little seating area, a little burner, grill, sink, pretty much everything you need for outdoor dining and cooking and uh, my little workstation's over there. It's a mess right now because I'm getting ready to start planting most of my plants and sowing seeds. So here it is, our amazing backyard paradise. It's in, in never in a million years would I have thought that we would have something so beautiful and amazing to come out here and sit down and have dinner with our family and watch the kids play in the fairy garden. I'm able to harvest food with the family out here. Kane's on the grill, I'm harvesting food. The kids are playing in the garden. We're always doing something back here. Swing on the swing, kids are playing in this little play area. It's just, it's amazing and a blessing to have all of this and to have my husband so talented to build all this as well. This is crew. So here is our, here's what everything kind of looks like right now. It's a mess, I've started some seeds I'll share with you what I'm starting and what I'm going to be putting in and my plans. I'm going to try to design this a whole lot different than our row planting that we've done. We usually do a row of tomatoes, okra, squash, zucchini, carrots. But this year I'm going to try to make it um, a little different just to be able to make it look a little more eye appealing and um, just kind of have some fun with it this year. So that's what that looks like. This is our new garden over here. We've got rows of different peppers and okras because um, that's really the only thing that can survive in the summer. Since we didn't finish this till midsummer, we, that's pretty much what we were limited to uh, to fill it in with. So here is a view of everything before the fall planting. And I am going to start a YouTube channel called Southern Dirt and Sunshine. That you guys can follow along kind of do like a v-blog i hate writing so this will be a simple way to keep everybody informed of what i'm doing how i'm tackling things taking care of issues and again i'm no expert i'm literally learning along the way um, and i love it I'm, I'm learning new things every single day i'm tackling things with google i'm googling um you know what to do within certain situations so again, I'm no expert, but 
I've had some success over the years and I've had some major failures over the years too. So I think that's the best way to learn is from your mistakes. And um, I absolutely love what I do out here. Our family enjoys it. I'm very proud when I am able to harvest food that I've started from a seed and I've grown in the backyard with no pesticides, uh, no funky stuff, and I'm able to put it on the table for our family. It's just fun for me. It's therapeutic. Um, the kids enjoy it. I'm teaching the kids along the way. They love it. It's giving them a responsibility. Kane and Ty, they enjoy being a part of it as well. So hopefully along the way, something will inspire you. I hope I inspire you and something in the garden inspires you to get out there and start your own too. And of course, mine's super big. You can start with something small as a three by six bed right here and, uh, or some pots. That's really all you can. I definitely don't want you to start with anything bigger than that because it can be challenging at times and I don't want anybody to get discouraged. So hopefully you guys will join me in my next video and subscribe to my channel so you can uh, watch along the way. And I'm not blowing everybody's Facebooks up with posts and videos. Talk to y'all soon.